before the dawn, before the day of Christmas. <laughs> did I tell you that I am the ghost of Christmas present? You did, yeah. Come in and know me better, man. <laughs> You're oh, I'm a large, absent-minded spirit. <laughs> Filled with the here and now. And the now is Christmas. <laughs> I don't believe I've ever met anybody like you before, sir. Really? Over 1,800 of my brothers have come before me. 1,800? <laughs> have you ever noticed that everything seems wonderful at Christmas? Before this day is done, you will understand. Oh. <laughs> ah, we shall go out into the world. <laughs> I wish to see friends. Kid, show me family. It's Fred. My dear nephew Fred and his wife Clara. Having Christmas with friends. Do people play games at Christmas? I, I love games. <laughs> Is it found on a farm? Never. In the Come. There's much to see. No more. I wish to see no more. Why have we come to this odd corner of the town? It's Christmas here, too, you know. That, that's Bob Cratchit's house. Perhaps it was the spirit's own generous nature and his sympathy for all poor men that led them straight to the home of Scrooge's faithful clerk. <laughs> How do you know that? Hmm. Well, I'm usually trustworthy. <laughs> Who's that? Mrs. Cratchit, of course! Come on, son. Let's go see if Christmas dinner is ready yet. He told me that he hoped the people saw him in church because it might be pleasant for them to remember upon Christmas Day who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. A remarkable chap. Much appreciated. I paid Bob such a small amount. Mr. Scrooge. Bob Cratchit. It only seems me peace of my mind to feast upon, and I <laughs> That is the future. My realm is the present. However, I see a vacant seat by the chimney corner and a crutch without an owner. These shadows remain unaltered, I believe. 
But then, if he's going to die, he'd better do it and decrease the surplus population. Oh, spirit. As the Cratchit family vanished into the darkness, Scrooge kept his eyes upon Tiny Tim until the last. Come, my time grows short. Do you grow old? I do! <laughs> Our spirits lie so short, my time upon this globe is very brief. I believe it will end upon the stroke of twelve. I have learned so much from you. Oh, spirit, do not leave me. I think I must, in fact. You have made so much to me. You have changed me. And now I leave you with the ghost of Christmas yet to come.